What's going on guys, it's Modisem here, and today we will be doing Retracted from TryHackMe. If we quickly read through the description, we realize it's a ransomware case study. A mom got her computer infected with ransomware, but the ransomware suddenly disappeared and her files came back decrypted, so she used her son's security skills to uncover what happened. The first question of this challenge is very easy, therefore allow me guys to skip it and move on to the next question. In the next question, we are asked to find the program that was used to create the ransomware note. All right, in Windows Event Log Viewer, we can follow along with the following path to find the Sysmin events. It's where we can view process creation, network, and other events. Once there, we can filter the events to show process creation events. Process creation events have an ID that equals to one. This way, we will be able to see all the spawned processes. Then we can use the find feature, narrow down events, to only those that contain the name of the note, which is Sophie. Following along with the results, we can see that this event entry contains notepad as the process name, and then we find the name of the note used in the command. This is our answer. All right, moving on, next question. What is the time of execution of the process that created the text file? So here again, we will filter events based on ID one, and we will narrow the events down to those containing the name of the process that is notepad. We see there are several events with notepad, such as this one here, Therefore, we keep looking until we find the one that references the name of the ransomware note. We copy the timestamp and answer with it. Yeah, just make sure it's the correct answer format to get it right. In the next question, we are asked to find the name of the installer. The installer file is the file that was originally downloaded and then caused the ransomware infection. Here we are looking to find the history of downloads, which you can find by looking into the browser history or by browsing to the downloads folder of the current user. This is one is easy and straightforward. The file name here is antivirus. Okay, next, what is the download location of this installer? So this one is straightforward. Just right click on the file, click properties and copy the path. Moving on, the installer encrypts files and then adds a file extension to the end of the file name. What is this file extension? So here we will have to go back to Windows Events Viewer and look again for file creation events. Particularly, we will first look up events that contain the name of the ransomware installer. We can see that the encryption extension is DMP. That is our answer. Okay, cool, next question. The installer reached out to an IP. What is this IP? So back to Windows Events Viewer, we need to narrow the search to look for network activity events. Network connection ID equals to three. And here we can spot several network connection attempts. We keep looking and we can find the answer by copying the IP from the destination field. The threat actor logged in via RDP right after the installer was downloaded. What is the source IP? So back to Windows Event Viewer again, our clues here are network connection events and the RDP protocol. First, make sure to search and look up RDP in the events. We will encounter several events we keep looking until we find the source IP. This is the IP address of the attacker machine. Okay, fine, next question. This other person downloaded a file and ran it. When was this file run? Here we will find the file that the attacker used to decrypt the machine files and restore them back to normal. It's very clear that decryptor is the file name in question. So we go back to events viewer and we look up network connections along with the decryptor we found. We can see the exact timestamp when the file was downloaded and executed. Copy the value under the... Okay, next up we will have to sort the questions shown here according to the chronological order of events. Our aim here is to establish a timeline for the ransomware attack where we highlight the first event and we move forward. So here the first event is when Sophie downloaded the file that got her PC infected. Since this turned out to be a ransomware, then the next event is when the ransomware encrypted the file system. After that, she reached out for help from her son, so that's our third event. As with every hacking case, the next event is the attacker logging in to check the victim computer. Then the attacker decided, in hint of good intentions, to decrypt the files he once encrypted before and to leave a note telling the victim to check their Bitcoin wallet. Lastly, the investigator arrives to the scene to investigate the ransomware infection, so these are our answers. This way, we have built a timeline of the attack showing the events in a timely order, which is paramount during computer forensics investigations.
So that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, kindly drop them in the comments. Cheers.